Stan Jubilisco here with just a little remark about the keyboard that comes uh, available with the Microsoft Surface Pro 2. Uh, you can attach this keyboard and prop the thing up and have a nifty looking little computer on which you can edit and uh, write text material. It's a positive action keyboard it's the same size roughly as the tablet itself. The tablet has a uh, angle brace on the back that allows you to prop it up. I'm using it right now as a matter of fact uh, to write the explanations and everything to this video but how they managed to make a keyboard that could fight a person like a wild animal is to me, what I call a feat of uh, anti-engineering. <laughs> the hardware end of Microsoft could stand a little improvement yet. Maybe that's where they're going with saying Windows 10 is the end of it. That one comment on the video about Windows 10 being forced on you, which apparently it is not. It's just very aggressively marketed. Uh, suggested that computers will eventually be nothing but dumb terminals and will all be connected to the internet and and then this and that and this and that. Uh, well, you, you'll use things like the Surface Pro 2 more and more and more to create your works of text. If you, and if you're a writer, the only thing I can tell you is writers have been known for their suicidal tendencies this one not included. Not until I start trying to write War and Peace on the keyboard of a Microsoft Surface Pro 2. Can you imagine a Tolstoy or or one of those other Russian authors uh, check off uh, what they would have done to themselves if they'd have been forced to write a novel on a computer. Well, at least it does enable you to input and edit text. And it serves the porpoise well enough for the porpoise at hand. But the thing sucks, I'm telling you, it sucks doorknobs. Stan Jibalisco signing off from the black holes of Dakota Territory, United States of Abominable Keyboards. Until next time, so long.